Yes, yes, Massive and Crew, back once again with another video. And today we're going to talk about a couple of different versions of the Commodore Amiga. Now, I've been on my Amiga journeys recently. I've been archiving stuff. I've been uh, working on, on bits and pieces, loading songs up, experimenting, finding samples from way back when. And I'm telling you, it's been a really interesting journey. So um, I found a few bits and pieces that were quite interesting along the way. And uh, studying... Um, you know, uh, the whole situation uh, X amount of years on, uh, where I, back in the day, I didn't really have time to sort of look at it from a sort of an older perspective. Um, and maybe not even an oldest perspective, where I was so much into the beats and everything worked the way it did. Uh, you know, I wasn't really looking at other options. But today I want to talk about 16-bit on Octomed. Now, this is really interesting because I've got Octomed up in front of me now. And I used to use up to Octomed 5. After Octomed 5, the whole interface kind of started to get a little bit on the boring side. Now, I'm going to get a song. I'll play it here now uh, just in, in just a second. And um, as you can see here, you've got your equalizers here as you would on a normal Octomed. You've got your uh, your oscilloscope, oscilloscope as he says it. And then when I press play, look. This is Slow Jams. Song of mine that I'm restoring. Okay, so as you can see, you know, the song's playing along and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not bad. There, there's some extra little uh, features inside the sampler and stuff like that. Uh, you know, for example, if I just sort of flick through to a sample, look, for example, at the moment, you see, look, the, the shortcut keys are not working on this. This is what I find a little bit strange on 6. Now, I don't know if it's because it was fully configurable, but usually if I press the shift key on the right and the left, this, it flicks through the samples. Whereas on this version, um, it doesn't. And I find that quite annoying in, in terms of, not annoying, man, because that's a bit deep, but like, you know, I find that a little bit like kind of undeveloped and I don't know if I'm missing something. You know, big up man like Tejo, man, because, you know, he's a legend. And for those who don't know, Tejo, can't pronounce his last name, uh, he, you know, Google him. Um, I think he's running a software company now. He's got, he's got a link on LinkedIn, but like he's a legend in the in the software industry, man. Um, one of these days, I'm trying to try and holler at him and see if he if if he's if we're worthy enough of him, uh, you know, just saying yo. So um, yeah, this is this is the Octomed in comparison to Octomed Five. Um, you know, it's it seems quite dry, but now. Let me just show you something, right? If I come out of Octomed 5 now, look, I've got all the versions of Octomed on my on my hard drive now. I've been on a mad one. And yet yesterday, I came across this Octomed Sound Studio. Now, when it said Sound Studio, because I saw this online, because uh, as I said, if you want to see my video on how to convert ADF files back to floppy disk, um, I've done a tutorial on that as well. And I was able to start downloading ADF files, converting them onto floppy, and then actually burning them not burning them but actually installing them on the computer which is what i've done here now now this gets really interesting because this is Octomed sound studio 1.03 now if you go into the the mic uh, the sound settings on here or the mixing settings now it, it might be on six we can check that out yeah um let's load the same song up in here and you i can see that there's a lot more functions than your regular everyday Octomed. Right, let's get the uh, the slow jams back up again here now, right? And let me see if that uh, shortcut key... Look, the shortcut keys work on this one. So when I press shift and right, it will flick through the samples, yeah? So it's almost like this is the better version. Right, this is the better version of it all. And also, there's other functions. Now, look, check this out. This is what is insane now. Watch, And it got me thinking now, right? I was thinking to myself, um, you know going to mixing settings and I thought to myself wait 14 bit 16 bit because look at the functions on it Amiga 8 bit Amiga 14 bit Toccata 16 bit Delfina 16 bit and it got me thinking there must be there was a 16 bit version and I've heard there's 16 bit sound cards out there for the um for the, for the Octomed and when I looked up the Toccata sound card Right when you go online, you look up the Takata sound card. It's capable of 32 channels. That's some mad Pro Tools business, man. From like, and you're thinking to yourself, no way, man. What is what's going on here? This is like some futuristic computer. This computer is quick. It takes about six seconds to boot up, right? 
and it's way ahead of its time for what it was. But putting that aside, um, it looks like this Octomed is compatible with 16-bit hardware. So if it's compatible with 16-bit hardware, where do you get the hardware to go onto it? So I got uh, researching some more, right? And then I discovered that the Amiga 12... I didn't discover it, but for myself, yeah? The Amiga 1200, yeah, was well, obviously kind of an entry level um version you had the 500 you had the 600 you had the um and then you had the obviously commodore 64 was way back when yeah but then you had the a1200 which was a bit more memory but then from what i see there's an amiga 4000 and a 5000 and they're more like pcs and they take cards and this Tokata was a flipping like a pci don't quote me on it, it might not be pci it might be some other i or CI or whatever the hell it is, you know what I mean? Because I don't know deep about these things, but all I know is there was a there was an animation card that was available for for the four thousand, right? And I saw a broken four thousand with an animation card and a tokata tokata in it. Loads of scuzzy options inside. The guy said it wouldn't boot up. He had it on eBay. Done a video for it, and it sold for seven hundred quid broken. So I wouldn't even like to think what an Amiga 4000 would be worth if it worked with the 16-bit. And I'd like to know, if anybody knows out there, has anybody ever used Octomed with a 16-bit Tocata Delfina card? Or even a 12, or even a 14, what is a 14-bit Amiga? I mean, you know, is that going to give me more sound? What, what, what's going on here? So if I go mixing mode 14, you know, what was all of this intended for? Does it make the sound any better? I can't hear any difference. So it's not going to upsample anything, I don't think, without any kind of rigmarole. But there must have been a sampling option where you could actually sample. And can you imagine like this old Octomed? I mean, really and truly, we're going, if you start talking this old Octomed going into 16 bit, yeah, and 32 bit and all this, yeah, we might as well just say Renoise. Do you know what I mean? Because. But then at the same time, it might still have a characteristic sound. And it's good to kind of like now, further on, be able to revisit history. So if anyone's got 4,000 sitting there doing nothing in their cupboard or leaning up against the door, holding it open, holler at your boy. You know what I'm saying? Because I can show that thing some better love than leaning up, holding up the door. And there's a community of people out there that want to know what that thing can do. And if you've got a Tocata card and you're like an old you know, connoisseur of audio and that's sitting there, you know, gathering moss, right? I don't even say dust now. I don't think they're going to be gathering rust and moss right now because just like my computer that I switched on the other day, yeah? Holler at your boy. Do you know what I'm saying? So we can hear what's going on because this is kind of insane. Looking at this, this Optimed, this is a more kind of ver a better version of Octomed. It's got the displays. Let's turn them on as we go. Equalizers. You've got your bar and your scope. Right, so we continue that. Let's play it through a bit. Obviously, you've got different tracks. Obviously, the more tracks you roll up, right, that's the Akai. Turn them down. Got the Akai's on here as well. Right. But I've got to admit, using this version versus version 5, I feel a bit cack handed. As you can see, look, it's all there. I'm trying to get the sample to load for this, by the way, the vocal sample. And this is the Sound Studio version of it. Okay, so let's talk about some of the functions on here that I can see. Look, would you go, go for a few of the menus just in case? Now, I don't know what AA Rec script is. I'd love to know that because it, it, it keeps asking for that whenever it loads. Um, display, you've got some display options. Uh, oh, tracker editor, let's see what that is. We obviously see that window. Notation editor, look, it's got some sort of cubase kind of key thing there um you've got a synth editor oh yeah as well as that the synth editor's got some other little extra part to it here none of which i've experimented with yet uh obviously I, if i had more time i would um sample list editor 
right what's that okay so you, you edit your instruments there okay just looking at this um and anything new on the block um join with next now that's always been there um yeah guys it's it's uh this is definitely looking like a more advanced version of it but at the same time i'll be more interested in a 16-bit version now let's just see if octomed 5 which is the one i like the most some people prefer four you know um comment down below let me know what version of octomed you guys are using and which one you prefer but five is one of my favorites because it's kind of like really it's got all of these functions it's a bit more graphical as you can see look straight away that loads up and you know what's really funny like the song loads on all versions of it i guess if you wrote something on octomed's uh six i don't not sure if it will load on five it's probably the usual um palaver but let's just load that up there now look I, this is how i prefer it. i prefer five is everything sort of at your disposal that's supposed to be the vocal yeah. you see look you've got all your oscilloscopes down the bottom there you know and you've got that color thing going on that's why i like it and i want to see now let's have a look here see if there's any now you see look settings no man you see what i'm saying all that 16-bit palaver is not available here it's not available at all so the Octomed studio that's probably some kind of high-end advanced version so guys i'm really interested to see hear your comments and uh you know i'm trying to bring the whole music amiga music community together in terms of uh you know i was talking about stuff and, and sharing ideas somebody approached me with a sound card the other day he said this was the bad the bad boy sound card from back in the day and i've lost his email and, I, and he said he was he had it for sale and whoever got it, so many people i have to really excuse me guys so many people contact me now it's like and i'm old so like and my memory's not great from you know and um you know trying to remember who who's what and i've searched amiga sound card all my emails all my social media everything i can't find who sent me that thing i should have just said boy yeah hot yeah what are you saying bruv i'm interested so you, i want to know who's got amiga sound cards like good ones i'm not talking about little plastic box ones i'm talking about top end ones amiga 4000 good you know good deal want to get rid of it want to want to show some love want to help people want to share the knowledge that kind of vibe you know what i mean holler at your boy um don't forget to like share subscribe if you found this video useful that's it for today's video take care god bless peace